Hey there, have you ever been in a situation where you thought someone was into you, but they just weren't showing it? Or maybe you're tired of constantly analyzing and overthinking every little thing when it comes to dating and relationships. Well, I've got great news for you. The book He's Just Not That Into You by Greg Barrett and Liz Tusilo is here to help you navigate the confusing and often frustrating world of modern dating. So, let's dive in and learn how to finally decode the mixed signals and find the love you deserve. In this video, we'll explore the common dating misconceptions and myths that are holding you back from finding a fulfilling relationship. You'll discover practical advice on how to avoid wasting time on someone who's not interested, how to set healthy boundaries, and how to build your self-esteem so you attract the right partner. This book is not only informative, but also entertaining, featuring real-life stories and hilarious insights that will keep you engaged from start to finish. Whether you're single or in a relationship, He's Just Not That Into You is a must-read for anyone looking to understand the dynamics of dating in the modern age. So, don't wait any longer, grab a copy of this book and start your journey towards finding the love you deserve. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Stay tuned for more tips and advice on how to navigate the often confusing world of dating and relationships. Make sure you watch until the end for some additional bonus tips that will help you put these concepts into practice in your everyday life. Imagine this, you've been on a few dates with someone and you're really feeling a connection. You can't stop thinking about them and you're already planning your future together in your head. But then, they stop texting you as frequently, they cancel plans, they seem distant. What does it all mean? If you've ever found yourself in a situation like this, then the book He's Just Not That Into You by Greg Barrett and Liz Tusilo is definitely for you. This book provides practical and straightforward advice for women who are tired of being confused by mixed signals and want to know the truth about where they stand with a guy. Through anecdotes and real-life examples, the authors explain how women often make excuses for men's behavior and end up wasting their time on relationships that are going nowhere. They also provide insight into how men communicate and what their actions really mean. If you're tired of overthinking and trying to decode every little thing a guy does, then this book is a must-read. It will help you gain clarity and stop wasting your energy on relationships that aren't worth it. The book provides practical solutions for common dating problems and empowers women to take control of their love lives. It encourages women to value themselves and their time and to not settle for less than they deserve. So, if you're ready to stop making excuses for men's behavior and start taking control of your own happiness, then this book is for you. Let's dive in and learn why he's just not that into you. One of the main takeaways from the book is that we should not waste our time and energy on someone who is not interested in us. It's important to focus on ourselves and our own goals and not get caught up in trying to change someone's feelings towards us. If someone is not showing consistent interest or effort in pursuing a relationship with us, it's best to move on and find someone who is. Another important lesson from the book is to trust our instincts. We often make excuses for someone's behavior or ignore red flags because we want the relationship to work out. However, our gut feeling is usually right and it's important to listen to it and not ignore any warning signs. So, how can we apply these lessons to our everyday lives? First, we should take the time to really evaluate someone's interest in us before investing too much of ourselves into the relationship. If someone is not consistently showing interest, then it's a sign that they are not really into us. We should also listen to our instincts and not make excuses for someone's behavior. Remember, we all deserve to be with someone who is truly interested in us and willing to put in the effort to make the relationship work. By applying the lessons from He's Just Not That Into You in our dating lives, we can save ourselves a lot of time and heartache. So, there you have it. Some practical advice on how to navigate through confusing dating situations. Don't forget to trust your instincts and never settle for less than you deserve. The book is based on the premise that if someone is interested in you, they will make it known. The authors encourage readers to stop making excuses for why someone is not giving them the attention they deserve and to recognize that it's a clear sign that they are just not that into you. 
The book provides helpful tips on how to identify the signs of disinterest, such as not returning phone calls, canceling plans, or only reaching out when they want something. The authors also discuss the importance of setting boundaries and valuing oneself in relationships. They encourage readers to walk away from situations that are not fulfilling or make them feel bad about themselves. They also advise against trying to change someone or waiting around for them to change. Instead, they suggest focusing on finding someone who is a good match and who wants to be with you. The book is written in a humorous and relatable way, making it easy to understand and apply the advice to real-life situations. It's a must-read for anyone who has ever felt confused or frustrated by the dating world. For example, if you're in a relationship where your partner only contacts you when they want something, such as sex or a favor, it's a clear sign that they are not interested in a meaningful relationship with you. The book advises you to recognize this and move on to find someone who values you for more than just what you can do for them. Another example is if you find yourself constantly making excuses for someone's bad behavior towards you, such as canceling plans or not returning phone calls. The book advises you to stop making excuses and to recognize that if someone is interested, they will make an effort to show it. If he's not calling you. The first chapter of He's Just Not That Into You starts with a simple yet significant message, if he's not calling you, it's because he's not interested. The authors highlight that women often make excuses for men's lack of communication, but the truth is, if he's not picking up the phone, it's a clear sign that he's not that into you. If he's not dating you. The authors continue to stress the importance of recognizing when a man is not interested. If a man is not actively pursuing a romantic relationship with you, then he's just not that into you. They emphasize that it's not enough to be flattered by a man's attention or to hold on to hope that he will eventually come around. If he's not having sex with you. Deals with the common issue of mixed signals. The authors explain that when a man is truly interested in a woman, he will not be sending mixed signals about his desire to have sex. If he's not having sex with you, it's because he's not that into you. If he's not married to you focuses on the notion that many women hold on to the belief that they can change a man's mind and convince him to marry them. The authors argue that if a man hasn't proposed marriage, it's not because he's not ready or he's afraid of commitment, it's because he's just not that into you. If he's not calling you. The authors revisit the issue of communication and highlight the importance of recognizing when a man is making excuses for not calling or communicating with you. The message is simple. If he's not making an effort to communicate with you, he's not that into you. If he's dating someone else. Deals with the difficult topic of infidelity. The authors explain that if a man is dating someone else, it's a clear indication that he's not interested in pursuing a romantic relationship with you. They caution women not to hold on to the belief that they can win a man away from another woman. If he's married to someone else. Is a continuation of the previous chapter, but the authors take it one step further by addressing the issue of men who are married to someone else. They explain that no matter what excuses or promises a man may make, if he's married to someone else, he's not available for a relationship with you. If he's a player. Addresses the issue of players and the danger of falling for their charm. The authors emphasize that a player is not looking for a committed relationship and that women should be wary of their smooth talk and seductive ways. If he's too busy to see you. The final chapter of the book deals with the common issue of men who claim to be too busy to spend time with a woman. The authors explain that if a man is truly interested, he will make time for you. If he's not making the effort to see you, it's because he's just not that into you. He's just not that into you delivers a straightforward message that many women need to hear. If a man is not pursuing a romantic relationship with you, it's because he's not that into you. The authors emphasize the importance of recognizing the signs and moving on rather than holding on to hope or making excuses. So, there you have it. The ultimate guide to decoding the confusing signals of the dating world, brought to you by He's Just Not That Into You by Greg Barrent and Liz Tusilo. Remember, you deserve someone who is truly interested in you and willing to put in the effort to make the relationship work. 
Don't waste your time and energy on someone who isn't giving you the attention and respect you deserve. Be confident and assertive in your dating life, and don't settle for less than you deserve. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.